Hey, I'm the GIMP guy. Welcome to another tutorial. I've been using GIMP for over 10 years. GIMP is the most powerful image manipulation program there is, and I make new tutorials every day showing you how to complete your project. So the question is, how do you add text and change or manipulate it using GIMP? All right, well, let's answer the first question first. How do you add text? Well, the good news is I went to a pond nearby and I waited till sunset and I took a picture and um, we're going to go ahead and left click on the picture and drag and hover over the GIMP and let go. Now it's going to open up the file. And there it is. Now it's kind of far away. So let's go and zoom in just a little bit. This right here is our magnifying glass. It's a tool in our toolbox. Think of all these little icons, this collection of icons as your toolbox. Go ahead and click on, left click on the magnifying glass. And now start at the top left, just outside the picture and click, left click and drag. You're holding and dragging to just on the outside of the bottom right corner. Now let go. And there you go, zoomed in. Now let's go over here and and look for our text tool. Well, that's going to be where the big A is at. So click on the big A and there we go. We're going to do the same thing. Now, if you don't have this tab right here, say you're, uh, you're missing it like me right now. Look for this little icon right here. Left click on it, go to add tab and then go over here and find tool options. It's the very first one, which is a pretty good indicator that it's a really important tab. These are like the only two tabs I use 90% of the time. All right, so now go ahead and click on your um, A, your text tool, start your box where you want, left click, drag to where you want, then when you're ready, unclick. Now let's type something. Let's try, I don't know, be happy happy is a good thing to be so we'll leave off the exclamation and let's go ahead and figure out how to what are we going to do next we are going to change or manipulate the text this person wants to know how do we change the text well to change it you just uh Say we're working on a different layer, okay? We were doing some stuff. Maybe we were airbrushing or whatever. Now we want to go back and change this text, right? Because they want to change it. So left click on the uh, text layer that you got there. And you'll see automatically it's in play. Now go back to your tool options. Maybe he wants to change the color. She wants to change the color. Go ahead and click on the color right there. And then let's change it to white. Okay, click white. If you don't know, it's always up here in the top left. So click anywhere you want and left and drag all the way up to the very top left and then let go and then hit OK. And uh, oh, if that ever happens and you make a change and nothing happens, it's because you're not controlling the actual layer. So make sure you click on that first. Sometimes you have to double click it. So double click it. And then you'll see now we're in control of it. So it just depends on your settings. Um, if you aren't controlling it by single clicking, then double click. All right, so now we're controlling it. We're going to go ahead and change it to white. Hit OK, and there you have it. All right, let's go ahead and do something else kind of cool. A lot of people want to know how to do drop shadows. Go up here to filters. Go to left click filters, go down the menu to light and shadow, then go over here to drop shadow. And there you go. Um, you can change how far away the shadow is, um, the distance the shadow is from the actual letter by changing this. If you increase it, it will get further to the right and further down. So I'll show you. We'll click on the up arrow and you can see it walking further away. Now we're gonna go ahead and set it back to, um, go back to like 20. 
And if you want to change the entire um, thing, then you want to keep the link. If you want to change one at a time, only one setting, then click it and make sure the link is not connected. Now you can adjust the horizontal to be further to the right, but without moving the shadow down and vice versa. So let's go ahead and change that. We'll kind of move it back to around 20. By the way, you can just hit control A to highlight the text and type in the number and then hit enter. And that's a good way to get back to your default. So I'm going to go ahead and close that link just so I don't forget. And that's the main things that you're going to want to do. Also, if you don't like how light the shadow is, then take the blur radius and, and uh, hit the down arrow. Take it as far down as you want to. Like maybe you want to go to one. And you can see it's a lot crisper. I like that. I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. Now, if you want to make it more um, transparent, then you adjust the opacity as needed. And there you go. Now, we want to we want to make some more changes. What's another common change? We want to move the text. So go to your mover tool. That's going to be right here. These little arrows um, going in all directions. Left click that tool and go over here. Put your crosshairs right on the letter. OK, if you're off just a little bit and click right here, what I would do is grab the layer underneath it because it doesn't know I can grab layers underneath it. It'll let me click right through transparent layers. So make sure you're clicking on the actual color of the B or wherever, anywhere in the text. Once I click on that actual uh, left click on it and hold, I can drag anywhere I want to. Maybe I want to drop it right here. I let go. There you have it. So that's the basics.